Energiemanagement like Energy Management Made Easy. We developed the Semantic Energy Manager web client following this motto. We're making the live demo of the Semantic Energy Manager available and we'll use it to present the functions based on a drink manufacturing process. The following production steps are shown. Water treatment, the mixing process, filling, supply systems, such as the steam generator, refrigeration plant and compressors. Now, let's take a look at it. Our example company has one site each in Berlin and Munich. By clicking the site symbol on the map, the detail window for the Berlin site can be opened. In this detail window, you can see the ENPIs for the Berlin site. Using the Berlin site link, bring up the dashboard for the Berlin site. The ratio of energy costs varies depending on the individual days of the month and also depends on the quantity produced. If less is produced, energy costs automatically drop. For further analysis of the site, you can refer to the histogram and regression analysis. In the histogram, you can directly read the maximum, minimum and mean values. You can also see the distribution of the values here. You can use the regression analysis to specify plan characteristics. To do this, draw a regression line through the point cloud, so that the distance of the points to the line is as small as possible. In the water purification section on the right, you can see that the limit values are not exceeded. The consumption values for each hectoliter are thus within the green zone on the speedometer. On the other hand, you see in the next section filling that the consumption of electrical power for each production volume is significantly increased. This is located in the red zone. Compressed air consumption, however, is located in the green zone. This means that the consumption of electrical power in the filling section must be optimized. Now, let's take a look at the dashboard for the compressors. On this dashboard, you can see that the specific energy consumption for both compressors is displayed for each compressor in the speedometer element. In the upper speedometer element, you can see the compressor 1 has a specific energy consumption of 4 kWh per standard cubic meter. Compressor 2 has a specific energy consumption of roughly 5 kWh per standard cubic meter. This means that compressor 2 is more inefficient than compressor 1. The chart shows a comparison of both compressed air volumes and standard cubic meter, as well as the production volume in hectoliter. You can enlarge an area using the zoom function on the chart. In the diagram, compressor 1 is shown in orange and compressor 2 in yellow. You can see that compressor 1 is used for covering the base load. On the other hand, compressor 2 is only switched on in case of increased compressed air demand, as it is less efficient. Now, let's take a look at the dashboard for the supply systems. On this dashboard, you can see that the energy flows from the electricity grid and gas network are shown down to the compartment level. The continuous line shows the performance values, sorted from maximum to minimum. This enables you to easily identify power peaks. In the top right, you can see the heat map showing the consumption intensities in the form of a color progression. Low performance values are shown in green and low peaks in red. You can also see that the power demand is low in the afternoon hours. Why is this the case? The soft drink is primarily produced during the other two shifts, as it still has to be shipped to end customers. The machines are also cleaned during these hours. You can also open reports in the Energy Manager with one click. The Energy Manager also offers an overview of the defined energy efficiency measures. For a given energy efficiency measure, the payback period, net present value and return on investment are calculated. This helps you during the investment decision, giving you security of investment. You can also display status-related data from a machine using the energy efficiency monitor on a dashboard. On the energy efficiency monitor dashboard, statuses are stored according to the VDMA standard. In a pie chart, you can identify the energy consumption levels of the individual status. 
The chart widget displays the same consumption levels in a so-called stacked layout. Unit consumption can also be seen. In Siemens Industry Online Support, you can access details on this Energy Manager live demo. You've seen how easily you can display and analyze the power data of your plant using the Sematic Energy Manager. Try it out for yourself with our live demo. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.